Consider the woman of worth in Proverbs 31. She's a mother, a wife, a shrewd businesswoman, a kind and loving leader in her community. She weaves, she spins, she sews, she serves her family and those in need. Yeah, we know she gets up before dawn, but my goodness, how does she do all this? I'm Melanie Rigney, the author of Woman of Worth, Prayers and Reflections for Women, inspired by the book of Proverbs. The woman of worth has been seen as an almost impossible standard for centuries. We regard her as the same today, and yet there are bits and pieces of her in all of us. In these videos, I'll take a brief look at the verses in Proverbs 31 and explain how we can become closer to the Lord by following her example. Charm is deceptive and beauty fleeting. The woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. What's wrong with a little charm? It makes us feel good to be around charming people. They make us believe that in that particular moment, we're the most important special thing in the world to them. But charm misused can wreak havoc with our souls. It's one of the evil one's favorite weapons to gull us into believing that we are truly important to a person we hardly know and that he or she has no ulterior motive for the praise that they heap on us. You might contend that Jesus is the most charming person who's ever walked the earth. Young and old, Jew and Gentile, almost everyone wanted to be around him. That is, unless you were a Pharisee or a scribe, or until things got difficult to understand or scary. His charm didn't count for much when Judas betrayed him or Peter denied him. Was Jesus' charm fleeting? No, because his message was constant. He gave comfort, but he spoke the truth, kindly, yes, but clearly and unswervingly. Our charm is fleeting only when we use it insincerely, rather than loving the person and seeing the face of Christ in him or her. Used wisely, charm can be a healing balm for those we know and even for those we don't. Women who rely on their physical beauty have a short shelf life in our world. There's always someone younger, someone better proportioned, someone with more perfect features. What do you see as beauty? How about a five-foot Albanian nun who had a big nose and a crooked smile? How about your own mother or a person who was like a mother to you? How about the image of Mary holding the broken, dead body of her son? Women of worth know that that beauty doesn't come out of a bottle or under the surgeon's knife. It comes from within when we are brave enough to let the Lord go to work. To learn more about embracing God and the woman of worth he sees in you, please check out the other videos in this series or consider buying Woman of Worth, Prayers and Reflections for Women inspired by the book of Proverbs at your favorite local or online bookstore or at www.23rdpublications.com.